Today, after two years of negotiations, the United States, together with our international partners, has achieved something that decades of animosity has not, a comprehensive long-term deal with Iran that will prevent it from obtaining a nuclear weapon. Most Israelis consider Obama in a way, a suspicious way. They don't trust him. They, they think he's too naive. Uh, they, most of them think that he doesn't really understand the, the conditions in the Middle East. The world is a much more dangerous place today than it was yesterday. The Israeli government uh, consider Iran as a real threat to the state of Israel, uh, not just because of the nuclear issue, but also because the Iranian involvement in terrorism, supporting terrorism and the surveillance in the region. So Israel thinks and believes that this deal will not be enough to prevent Iran from becoming a nuclear state, and that poses a real threat to the state of Israel. This deal demonstrates that American diplomacy can bring about real and meaningful change. Most of the uh, nuclear infrastructure m remains in Iran. It, it maintains most of, of the nuclear facilities inside Iran. Uh, second thing, it uh, uh, removes the sanctions over Iran without really waiting for Iran to uh, carry out its commitments according to the deal. And the third thing is that uh, even if it prevents Iran from becoming a nuclear uh, state right now, it's a matter of time because the, the deal doesn't uh, say what will happen after 10 or 15 years of limitations on Iranian uh, nuclear uh, uh, program. So at the, at the most, after 10 or 15 years, which are not too long in the Middle East, Iran will be uh, free from uh, any limitations over its nuclear facilities. After 10 or 15 years, I think even the Americans agree that the Iran will be very near a nuclear military uh, capability. This is a day when the UN Security Council adopts an agreement with Iran that uh, has violated every UN Security Council resolution you can imagine, and openly tweets today a video in which it's out it calls for the destruction of a member state, Israel. There is a difference between the United States and the Europeans. The Europeans made a deal mainly uh, out of economic reasons. They want to return to Iranian market, a market of uh, almost 80 million Iranians. This is a, a very important deal, and they want the deal mainly, I believe, from uh, economic reasons. People say, well, that ends the, uh, you know, that's it. Sanctions are removed. That's not true because the UN sanctions cover some sanctions, but they don't cover the American congressional sanctions. And remember that the United States economy is 50 times the size of the Iranian economy. So companies and countries will have to consider whether they want to go with Iran with the 2% or go with the United States with uh, the 98% the, the that remains. The United States uh, really believes that Iran has become almost an island, an island of stability in the, in the Middle East. And it's important uh, by the American view to get uh, better relations with Iran in order to use Iran as perhaps a more stabilizing uh, uh, force in Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen, uh, in the Middle East in, in general. The leading international powers have bet our collective future and a deal with the formal sponsor of international terrorism. No doubt that Iran will have much more ability to support Syria, to support Iraq, to support Yemen. We should remember that Iranian involvement in terrorism, in subversive activities in the Middle East, is not just about economy. Uh, take, for instance, uh, Supreme Leader Khamenei's uh, uh, calling for weaponizing the West Bank after the last operation in Gaza. Israel is already engaged in, uh, in a kind of cold war with, with Iranian proxies, especially Hezbollah. Hezbollah today is engaged mostly in Syria. It, it doesn't have really the, the capabilities, the energy to, uh, to come up with a, war, with a total war against Israel right now. So I think I don't see real, uh, really, real change uh, following this agreement. I think the real change will, will happen uh, if, if and when the Syrian civil war will, will be over and then we can see uh, an escalation between Israel and, and Hezbollah because Hezbollah will have the energy and the capabilities to, to do that. The Iranian regime consider the nuclear military option 
as a guarantee, as an insurance uh, for, the, uh, for the survival of the regime. So I believe that even if there were strong sanctions against Iran, I wouldn't think that Iran would agree to dismantle all its nuclear uh, facilities uh, in the future. Today's announcement marks one more chapter in this pursuit of a safer and more helpful, more hopeful world. I think the, the main problem is that uh, this deal and Iran, Iran be, be, becoming a threshold a nuclear state might encourage other st states, especially Saudi Arabia, Turkey, perhaps Egypt, to follow uh, its, its footsteps. Iran, as I said before, will have more money, more uh, uh, capabilities to support uh, its uh, subversive activities in the Middle East. Middle East. So uh, it won't be a safer Middle East, but uh, let's uh, sell it uh, quite uh, openly. It wasn't a safe uh, region even before.